This podcast is brought to you by Percussion Play, the world-leading designer and manufacturer of outdoor musical instruments. Percussion Play's instruments are designed for all ages and abilities, bringing the joy of playing percussion to the great outdoors. Percussion Play is committed to making musical expression accessible to everyone, everywhere. Music therapy has long been used as a powerful tool to support mental health and well-being. Combined with being placed outside, there's a growing body of evidence which shows making music can have a positive impact on those living with dementia and help support cognition in the elderly. This podcast seeks to shine a light on organisations and communities that are embracing outdoor music making. In this episode, we're looking at the impact music making can have on senior living communities. We visited a care home in a unique setting with beautiful gardens. And now, music. Uh, my name's Kate and I'm the sales manager at Percussion Play. We are at Pax Hill Care Home near Farnham in Hampshire. Um, and we've come to see some of the residents here. Um, Sheila's come out to have a go with some of the instruments. Um, she's played the forget-me-not pedal drum and she's currently just splashing out some Beethoven on the cavatina. It's really interesting watching her immediately going up and down the scale, just following the colours on the instrument, but with no real extra guidance. She just she just gets it. Have you have you played the drum? Do you like to have a go? Yeah. <laughs> a little tongue drum. So it's got these little tongue shapes cut cut into the steel, and when you tap on them. Music before? Are you a musical person? Uh, my son is a musician. Oh really? Mm. What does he play? He plays violin and piano. Fantastic. You do four of these different flower shapes, so it's a forget me not. I lived with um, Alzheimer's for 17 years mm. with my husband, mm. and uh, he's very close to my heart, obviously. Yeah. There you go. go on there. Yeah, go for it. That's it. Got you in now. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Janice Bayer. And I'm the activity coordinator here at Pax Hill. So we do lots of different music and um, we have entertainers come in. And most of our activities at the end, we usually end up singing one of the old favourites, you know. But yeah, they do love to have a bit of a sing song. So music is really a part of, of what you do here. And today we've got a mixture of instruments from percussion play in the circular courtyard. What have you seen going round with, with the residents? Oh, it's been lovely, uh, especially with um, the lady in the blue over there. <laughs> she was gorgeous. Did you see her when she was with your um, gentleman? He was playing it. He, she was copying she was. exactly what he was doing yeah. on the double one. The where duo. The yeah. duo, yeah. yeah. Um, and it was incredible. You can see she's definitely got some kind of music in her background. She loves the sing song. And over on this one here on the xylophone, one of our residents playing Jiju Joy. And it was incredible what she could do. Um, a lot of them have some music background and um, it's just a chance for them to do it without being judged and just having a really good time. And they're, they're, inc- they're lovely, your instruments. They are so attractive. And uh, you can see by their faces they're having a ball. And I suppose it's like music is sort of connecting people here. They can play together. It's something for them to talk about. Oh, without a doubt, yes, definitely. We only have to give them one line and they're away, or one little tune and they're away. They love the um, the singing and the music. Music is so important, not only to development, but it's also to um, evoke memories. So, you know, especially in our line of work, those memories are, are precious. Our colleagues in Denmark have been influential in introducing music into elder care settings in the country. Hello, my name is Lars Hansen. I started uh, percussion play Denmark about 11 years uh, ago. Many years ago, somebody I know uh, works in an elder home. She phoned me and knew that I was uh, just started my my company about the music instruments. And uh, she said that um, there was a kindergarten uh, coming uh, and... uh, she would like to me uh, uh, that I could come with some of my music instruments. And of course, I thought about that would be a good idea. Kids and the music instrument would be super. 
I came to that um, care home and the kindergarten came and so on. Because I think that I'm a social worker also, I could just see what happened to not only the, the kids, but also the citizens uh, that live there. I could see on the citizens that uh, suddenly they were talking a lot and they were all playing all the music instruments. And before I came with the music instruments, you know, there were no, you know, the people were just sitting there and, and so on. So, and, and I could just see that the music instrument did something, you know, to the people. And after that uh, meeting, I just thought now I um, have to uh, to visit some more care homes because I want to see what what happens when uh, people with dementia plays on the music instrument. Normally in Denmark it was so that we have you know the music t- therapy and uh, often is it so that they are playing and the citizens they they uh, maybe they sing but they don't play any anything and so this was just new, you know, here in Denmark. When uh, a care home, they uh, want our music instrument. Often is it so that we um, play some music instrument or the first music instrument so that the citizens can see the music instrument from the care home. When you see a music instrument, you just want to go out, you know. And it's so now it's, it's easier to to tell them, should we go uh, out? And maybe they was no, it's it's cold or it's um, raining or something. Then we can see to them, okay, should we go out? Maybe play some music, and and then they forget, forgot. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter that that's rain, and we we go out, you know. And then and they play on the music instrument, and often we have not only uh, one music instrument, but several other music instruments and then maybe you can see oh 30 or 40 meters from there oh there's a next music shouldn't we go further to the next one so therefore it's also a kind of uh, exercise you know and you get uh, fresh air and so on and what i saw is that when you play on the music instrument many of the people with dementia suddenly you know you can talk to them and they respond to you. You talk about um, life, you know, and what was happened before and so on. And all that uh, happens because of a music instrument. Yeah, beautiful sound. So what is Denmark doing differently? In Denmark, we have a National Center of Knowledge in Dementia. And uh, they do a lot of research about dementia and how to uh, help uh, people who has uh, dementia. I think here in Denmark, we uh, often maybe do things uh, different. And that's maybe one of the reasons that uh, so many care homes are has our music instruments. Therefore, not only about the music instrument, but a lot of people uh, from other countries, they just see how do we it here in Denmark. It's not only the UK that is following Denmark's lead. Percussion Play recently attended a senior living conference in the US, where there is a growing movement which aims to create positive elder care experiences that inspire and support mental health and well-being. Those are four. Solve those four and we're good to go. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all very much. This is great. Thank you. you. Hello, everybody. I'm Lydia Manning, Dr. Manning. Um, I have a PhD in gerontology. Uh, For me, that means uh, being an expert on all things related to aging. So if asked to discuss the research that we have on music and its impact or how it shapes cognitive decline for older adults, there is a a breadth of uh, data and research. Um, I actually uh, did a study. um, I worked with colleagues at Rush Oak Park Hospital here in Chicago, Illinois, 
um, older adults who identified as African American and also European American, how their um, attendance or musical performance impacted their cognitive decline in later life and found that actually for older African Americans who attended um, around anywhere from eight to 10 musical performances a year had a 23% less likely um, chance of developing cognitive impairment in later life compared to um, 31% of their European American counter um, counterparts. And there's a, there's a whole host of data um, supporting the same thing that not only making music, we know that that protects our cognitive reserves and helps us build new neuronal pathways, but also attending musical performances. So the passive interaction with music is also really beneficial to our brains and helping us prevent um, and stave off cognitive decline in later life. We do have data um, suggesting that music making um, and music consumption for lack of a better term, is good for our, our brains as we age. So in terms of whether or not senior living communities should incorporate music into their programming and into their offerings, absolutely. I think that um, senior living communities absolutely should in include music at all levels of their programming. I mean, I think it's not only good for the people living in the senior living spaces, the older adults, but it's also good for staff and for people working and leading in those places. So I think music in terms of being incorporated into activities, into programming, into experience is, is vital and critically important. And again, we have a breadth of research and data demonstrating and evidencing that that is indeed empirical and true. Um, should younger adults be engaging in music making and music consuming practices? Absolutely. Um, is it beneficial? A hundred percent. We have again data looking longitudinally um, for children, right? When they when they learn to read music, to make music at younger ages, they're they're bolstering their neuronal pathways and they're creating new ones, and they're also protecting their what we talk about in brain science, the cognitive reserve. So this is a cumulative life course process. We have obviously other data to demonstrate that music is good for children in other ways, right? In terms of um, the way that they then um, acquire uh, literacy skills and decision-making skills. I mean, I think it, again, it's, it's a protective factor. It's not a nice to have. I think it's a need to have. That was brilliant. Such of the Beethoven's. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Gwen. Um, are you enjoying this? Yeah. Oh, it's a joy. Yeah, I mean, it's, you sound like you. Did you play? Have you played music in the past? Well, I, I I taught infants, and we always had xylophones. They played more than I did, actually. <laughs> but I am quite musical. Yeah, I yeah. can tell. Yeah. And is it is it lovely seeing some instruments here today? It's very nice. Yes. It's, it's 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 nice to have this opportunity. Mm. <laughs> They're all enjoying it too. They're lovely. It's nice to have this this help. The music book. Mm. Yes. So mm. you can. Well, you were following that really well. Mm. Uh, much better than me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely tell you're musically minded. I th I think especially with instruments like this, it's nice to be outside because the sound can it can travel a little bit better. It, they can be quite. Um, confined inside. Research has recently been published outlining how enriched gardens, which include musical instruments, can preserve cognition and promote good health. My name is Etienne Bourdon. I'm a public health doctor and I was uh, as well an expert in geriatrics and gerontology. I'm uh, doing research in um, environment and health and specifically uh, what's in, in the environment uh, is uh, profitable for the health of elderly. It's mostly an environment that is promoting health, which is in my concern, on, on which we have been through over 10 years research works. Uh, the research works concerns enriched environment, and in fact, it's a translation work of initial laboratory studies that were conducted over 70 years unreached environment. And we were the first to conduct translation into humans and mostly into H people. 
this uh, work conducted to uh, a very promising potential and benefits of a enriched environment for the health of elderly, but not only for the health of uh, aged people in institution. There is a, a huge potential in future. Uh, we, we've demonstrated that the environment, when enriched properly, could um, not only preserve health factors, but also promote uh, health factors and reduce specific uh, difficulties related to aging. And uh, that's we conducted the first translation into gardens, and uh, we 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 use various enriched materials, including uh, musical instruments, and that uh, gave us a very interesting uh, outcomes on um, Alzheimer disease, for instance, but also in Parkinson, in depression. Uh, regarding musical instruments. Um, that was very interesting because it's it is for on both uh, aspects. One, it is very attractive to develop interaction of the patient with the environment because it's uh, it's easy to handle, uh, and the patient even with um, dementia didn't have so much difficulties to go into these instruments. So we've we've developed them both in the outdoor and indoor activities in indoor enriched environment as well. So uh, we will continue doing research. I, th I think music brings joy to your heart. It, it, it just lifts the spirits and I've played unrecognizable tunes today. I've no idea what they are. I've made them up as I went along. But it's, it's that improvisation and, uh, you know, the, as I say, sheer joy of making Pleasant sounds. <laughs> yeah. Residents here at Pax Hill are benefiting from getting outside and making music. If you want to learn more about how music can have a positive impact in elder care, go to www.percussionplay.com where you can read our latest white paper. <laughs> Need to practice that one. <laughs>